Guys, back with another video for you today, and today I'm talking about a fragrance called Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. This one right here, a brand new launch. Um, I don't really talk much about Bulgari fragrances, but recently I did speak about Tigar. In fact, I featured it in a Grapefruit of Fragrances video yesterday. But this is from the Bulgari Man series of fragrances, and I used to wear Bulgari Man a long time ago, and I had reviewed and spoken a lot about it on a previous channel. So this is my second bottle of a fragrance from Bulgari, from the Bulgari Man series series called Glacial Essence and I'm going to tell you all about it coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today we're talking about Bulgari Man Glacial Essence from Bulgari, the house of Bulgari. This is a fragrance that I learned about a couple of weeks ago and uh, now I have a bottle and uh, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Is it worth owning? Does it smell great? All that good stuff. But before we do all that, if this is your first time tuning into this channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So I, I wanna say, up front that this bottle was sent to me. I was approached by people behind the brand, of course, and they wanted to have me, you know, receive a bottle and uh, share my honest opinion about the fragrance. So I'm going to tell you my opinion about this fragrance honestly today. So this is a 2020 launch. A 100 ml bottle is $113. It's currently sold at Macy's and I do see that there is a 15% off discount on there. Now this is created by Alberto Morias and man, the guy gets around for sure. He creates so many fragrances. I've, in fact, I probably have reviewed 20 plus fragrances on this channel from uh, Alberto Morias. This is considered an aromatic woody fragrance. Um, I did notice that it said that it's an aromatic fougere on a couple of the databases, but it doesn't really act like an aromatic fougere for me. It's more of an aromatic woody. Uh, when I think about aromatic fougere fragrances, I think of lavender, tonka bean, which this fragrance is completely missing. So also one more thing I want to say, I did find out about that this is inspired by air. So it's called uh, Bulgari Man Glacial Essence, uh, but it says it's inspired by air. Um, read about it here on the card that was also sent to me from uh, the the folks that sent this to me and of course the box is right here um, basic box so I don't want to talk about the presentation too much because for me on this channel it's mostly about the fragrance and really this presentation is very simplistic like their other Bulgari Man series fragrances but it, obviously it has a clear bottle it's bluish theme so it is definitely on that bluish side of fragrances and you know it, it's, it's pleasant fragrance what we have for notes here are juniper berry essence ginger extract geranium essence in the heart you have Australian sandalwood essence orris concrete and uh, artemisia essence and base notes you have cedarwood alaska essence clearwood accords and musk accord so what do we get from this fragrance first of all i want to uh, also clarify i did read in the notes clearwood so i had seen this note come up quite frequently in fragrances although not necessarily really frequently i'd seen it come up here and there so i had to look it up and do some research to find out what clearwood is certainly it's found in nature but it is a creation for ferminage and it's proprietary for ferminage to use this note clearwood because they have the rights to it it's trademarked so clearwood is a soft and clean version of a patchouli profile created from white biotechnology clearwood registered trademark delivers all the rewards of modern ingredient design. Beaming with light, it offers the creamy warmth of amber and a dark woody character reminiscent of patchouli. Launched in 2014 and first ever white biotech ingredient within the perfumery industry, Clearwood is a truly inspiring ingredient made possible by the genius of science and rendered unforgettable by the perfumer's intuition. Clearwood can be used like patchouli essential oil or as a new woody building block at high dosages. Although rich in patchoulol, Clearwood will not replace natural patchouli essence it will complement it as a new ingredient a new building block so now that we know what clearwood is then what is Bulgari man glacial essence all about so it totally makes sense to use clearwood rather than traditional patchouli to create this fragrance because when they have this like clean air inspired fragrance when they end up using real patchouli you're gonna get all that dirty naughty stuff that comes along with it and the inspiration for this fragrance will be completely different so it makes sense to use this uh, clearwood note because you know they've stripped away all the naughty parts of what I really love about patchouli and give us something in a more purest pure form like a clean form stripped away from all the fatty uh, parts about a note and given a you know just given us the best parts about it 
Is it really the best parts though? For me, I enjoy that about patchouli. I like the earthiness, I like the chocolatiness, I like the leatheriness, I like the woodiness about patchouli. And here they've stripped it away, and as I said, given us a very, very clean version of patchouli. Does it smell like patchouli? Yeah, you get hints of it. And even though clear wood seems to be a neck and neck with the, the juniper berry note here, because it's a very, very aromatic experience, you do have light qualities or light touches of that clear wood note which acts a little bit like patchouli but not something like you know reminiscence patchouli fragrance where you're getting all of those naughty parts of the patchouli in here because this is a very very pure clean uh, fragrance the other thing about this fragrance is that it's inspired by or actually it's called glacial essence and it smells very very clean and fresh um, it's very soft as well it acts like clouds uh, very very soft and f foamy kind of like cotton just there's a something soft about the fragrance which you know it can be fun to wear like something like this it could be easy it's an easy going fragrance rather than something really an afterthought you have to think about what you're wearing because it might come off too strong for some people and all that good stuff this is the kind of fragrance that you know you can get away with wearing throughout the day at work and at night and things like that and it's the kind of fragrance that's not going to offend so what they've given us is that inspiration of air and air is generally very clean and you know normally it's clean obviously and it's non-offensive and that's what this fragrance is all about to me because when they strip away all the good stuff from the patchouli they've left nothing but you know the cleanest parts about it and they've given you that with this one one last thing about this fragrance it's a very very musky fragrance uh, you do have a, a really really musky quality about it which I generally like and it's a clean musk here, a very, very sexy clean musk. There's a soapy quality about it with the, the, the combination of the notes, the, the clear wood, the juniper berries, and that musk. And you know, I think it's a decent release. It's not something I would rush out to buy myself. I've kind of moved on from the releases from Bulgari in their signature collection for men. I haven't worn, as I said, a, a Bulgari men's fragrance for quite some time. It's a good five plus years. But you know, if I was new in the game and I was going to the the department store like Macy's where this is sold and looking at fragrances I would actually get this if I was fairly new because it smells decent it smells great and it's also like I said a non-offensive fragrance so not only is it gonna smell great on you it's gonna smell clean fresh refreshing and definitely uh, seems like something like a crowd pleaser where people will gravitate towards you once you start wearing it and mixes with your body chemistry so those are my thoughts about this fragrance um, a couple more things I should say I guess as far as longevity and things like that go uh, I don't really test fragrances and talk about them but I got moderate performance with this one uh, it's not like a very very long-lasting fragrance I'm getting five and a half hours approximately maybe pushing it to six hours so you would need to reapply if you're going to wear it during the day and at night the other thing I want to say is it's a soft fragrance so you don't have a beastly projection and sillage so you're not gonna leave a big trail once the one hour mark passes because I feel like once the one hour passes any form of sillage or you know projection is gonna be very very minimal if at all uh, and that's why I feel like you know this can be worn at the office situation it's not a big fragrance it's pleasant and it's pleasing and it's satisfying so anyway those are my thoughts about bulgari man glacial essence for you today what are your thoughts about it have you sampled it yet um, do you like this fragrance do you like this line let me know and what do you think after watching this review does it sound like a fragrance uh, you'd like to try and let me also know are you fans of alberto Moriez's creations because as i said he he does so many fragrances like the entire Gucci lineup of men's uh, fragrances um, and then also the ladies I think too and then also that that whole uh, collection the alchemist collection he does all those fragrances so so I'm seeing his name here uh, as well but I think Alberto did the original um, Bulgari man as well. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, thanks so much for watching my review today for Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. Guys, let me know your uh, thoughts about the fragrance. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>